questions. We have questions when somebody is told that they can't get cap and trade through, and then they tell us, well, we'll sneak it through through the EPA. It, it raises questions about whether you respect our freedom. When somebody said, you, you, you can't get car checked through, the legislature won't pass it, and you try to figure out a way through the NLRB, the National Labor Relations Board, to get it through anyway, well, then we, we begin to have questions about whether you really respect our freedom and respect the fact that government is supposed to be of the people, by the people, and for the people. And, and when you tell us, when you tell us that we cannot drill for oil, that you shut down 60 oil drilling rigs in the Gulf, and then you go to Brazil and give them $2 billion and tell them we'll be your best customer, you better believe you've got questions. You're supposed to have questions. And when gasoline is $4 a gallon, and we remember that you said that when it went up to $4 a gallon before, by the way, Google took this off. You can't find this on YouTube, but he said it, because I remember it, when he said that, well, um, I don't have a problem with $4 a gallon gasoline. I just wish it hadn't happened so quickly. Now we have to wonder whether this is by accident or by design. So yes, it's appropriate for us to have questions. Well, you know what? I'm tired of having questions. We need people in Washington who are going to give us some answers. Not just ask questions, not just raise questions, but give us some answers. We need some straight talk. We need, we need to have the case just laid out before us for what it is. You can't tell us, you can't tell us we're going to cut the budget and we're going to cut it by $100 billion. But $100 billion prorated means $61 billion. And by the time we get finished cutting the deal, that's $38 billion. And then tell us, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> uh, we're not buying that. We're not buying that. It's about time somebody went to Washington and said, look, this is where I stand. I will not raise the debt limit. I will not go along with this uh, deal that you constructed. And if it means the shutdown of the government, shut it down. <laughs>